Hey guys, I do my help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, Apple has just released iOS 13.4 Developer Beta 2. Now, this is currently only available for developers, public beta testers. I'll let you guys know on Twitter when this will be available for you. You can head on over to Settings, General, Software Updates, and you should see the latest beta populate, which, by the way, the latest build number, there it is, 17E5233. G. Now that's a long build number. We still have a ton of software improvements to come with iOS 13.4. This is only the second beta for iOS 13.4, which by the way comes in exactly two weeks after the initial release of the first beta for 13.4, which brings a ton of improvements and new features, such as the iCloud folder sharing, which is a feature that was initially intended to be released with iOS 13, has been re-added and reactivated with 13.4 beta 1 and beta 2 as well. We also have nine new Memoji stickers available with the latest beta as well, in case you did not know. Under system services, we also have the Wi-Fi calling toggle has been relocated to this position here with the latest beta 1 and beta 2. Under the Siri and search, we have announced messages with Siri extension. Now, Apple continues to move this setting here for AirPods Pro users. And this setting can be found under Siri and search, right there it is. But it can also be found in the second beta under notifications for the messages. So if we go to the messages extension here, we see that we find announce messages with Siri. We see the options here. And under Siri and search, we can find additional options for announce messages with Siri. So you can play around with those settings and you can adjust them to your liking. So if we go here, you see that the announce messages with Siri can be turned on from this particular section here and can be adjusted from notifications as well. So Apple just continues to play with the menus on that front. And of course, you have the button here on Control Center. So once your AirPods are connected, you can go ahead and adjust those settings as well. So moving on to the emails application, which most of you guys, as well as myself, have been encountering issues with the mail application in iOS 13 and this continues to iOS 13.4 and I'm going to be testing beta 2 of course to see if these issues do continue but we do have additional options and menus to play around with when we go to compose an email in the latest beta as well. Now one of the big features coming to iOS 13.4 is called Car Keen. Reference in iOS 13.4 beta 2 indicate that Apple could be making this feature also available to be shared through iMessage. So if you have CarPlay on your vehicle and you have the car key activated, you can enable your vehicle, turn it on, things like that, lock and unlock. Now it looks like you can share the key and some of those references here, as you can see, show an activation method when you share this key with someone using iMessage. So if you want to share that, it looks like with iOS 13.4, you can share car keys as well using iMessage directly from iPhone to iPhone or iOS user to iOS user. Of course, a PIN will be required to enter a code in order to activate the key. I'm sure Apple will have certain settings like setting a certain time limits. Maybe you can do certain restrictions for the vehicle like speed limits and things of that nature if your vehicle is advanced enough. So a ton of options and a big feature coming to CarPlay with iOS 13.4. This is going to be a big one. I'm hoping to be testing this once the official release for iOS 13.4 is released. I want to make sure I get my hands on CarPlay and activate this car key feature to see how it works. But Apple continues to improve on 13.4. I will give you guys my follow-up in the next 24 to 48 hours to see how the software is evolving, how everything is working, and if I find any additional new features, I'll be sure to bring those to you guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you real soon. Peace.